Welcome back to another video guys. We are here in the beautiful seaside town of Cash. Not like cash money, but the actual city of Cash. Anyways, you probably do need some cash money to be here. It's very expensive. So that's why we are going to Antaya. So right now I'm just heading towards our very favorite destination, the highway, to continue on our path towards Cash. So join me and let's go. The adventure continues. So as you guys can see right there in the distance, there's another person hitchhiking. We're going to be having a little bit of competition today. I thought in all fairness, he was there first. So we're going to try walking a little bit more and hopefully he gets picked up first and I get picked up soon after that. Good news, I was able to get onto a motorcycle which took me about 10 minutes down the road. And now we at least have a little bit of runway where they could stop for us. So hopefully it will be easier now. You guys seen in the last clip, we got picked up by a little motorcycle thing. Hopefully we could get a car because sitting on motorcycles is not as fun or safe. And I think I really need some safety about now, okay. All right, so quick recap. We actually got picked up by this car right here, or this truck right here, and we are going all the way to Antaya. And we have made it to Antaya! This is truly incredible. Within one ride, literally no one stopped for about an hour until that truck just stopped and brought us all the way to Antaya. Three hour hitchhike and dropped us off right here by the beach, which is only about like a five minute walk. I literally couldn't have asked for anything more perfect. And sorry, by the way, they even gave me food. So like I'm, I have a good amount of food for the day already. So we're going to just check out the beach, see what we can do with an entire and then find some Wi-Fi so we can post the last video. This is truly a special moment. Two days ago could have been the last day of my life. I remember when I was sitting on that rock, I was just thinking, there's so many things that I wish I could have done. I wish I could still do. And one of those things was to come here. For so long, one of my dreams was to come to Antaya. It's not the most beautiful beach I've seen in Turkey, but it's one of my dreams and it has come true. So I really couldn't be any happier to be here and to be alive. All right, that's enough for all of the uh, emotional moments, but yes, we are here in Antaya. Take a look at the beautiful beach, <sighs> the beautiful mountains, and beautiful life that we're living right now, man. So I think this is just the time to have a little appreciation for the little things, you know, and uh, probably the most important thing, life itself. All right. That's it, and let's continue exploring Antaya. So if you guys have been watching my series as of late, you know that my favorite supermarket here in Turkey is the Migros. Now, we've been to the Migros one, the double M Migros, the triple M Migros, but check this out. We have got the 5M Migros. Wow, look at that. It says the Antaya Migros Shopping Center. We literally have a full entire shopping center of Amigros. Now, I don't know how exciting this is to go to a superstore or a shopping center, but we are going to go. The Migros of Antaya. Let's explore. So the reason why we came to this superstore of Amigros isn't just because I have a weird fascination for Migros. No, realistically, we're here for the Media Mart. If you don't know what a Media Mart is, it is a store here in Turkey where you could get all types of electronics. The electronic that we are trying to acquire as of today is one power bank. I heard that this is a good place to get power banks. So we will try and see if we can get one. And we have arrived at the Media Mart. So right now, I see one for 379 lira. That's 10,000 milliamp battery although it's only 10 watts there's another one that's 15 watts for 499 and then another one that's 749 i'm probably just gonna get the cheapest one 
We have time, not money. <laughs> so we came to the biggest Migros in all of Turkey. And what did we get? An orange and some cookies. All right, so one successful stop at the Migros. And now we move on and to explore more of Antalya. All right, so in this series, I wasn't really able to explore much of the cities of the places that I go to. So I want to make this video a little bit different. And I actually want to try to see as much as we can here in Antalya. Now, the first thing that we're going to be doing is what we are currently walking in is exploring this magnificent park. You guys can see all around. It's very beautiful. There's a lake right there. I actually, I really do enjoy this park. I would like to return to the park and maybe chill, relax, have something to eat. But on the topic of eating, that is the thing that we are going to be looking for. There is two things that we are going to be looking for today. Number one, we are walking towards the uh, central district here in Antalya. So that way we can explore best attractions to see here in Antalya. And I really am trying to get some cheap food because, I mean, the budget. <laughs> and I think that it is also the best videos. A lot of people want to see cheap food videos, not expensive food videos. Who wants to go to a five-star restaurant? Not me. But we got some ducks. Look, I'm telling you guys, Antalya is a great city. So much to do. So beautiful. Beautiful park, beautiful lake, beautiful ducks. Hello, ducky. How are you? Having a good day? Oh. I don't speak duck, but I do think he is having a great day. Oh, look at this cute kitty. We just had to stop and say hi to the kitty cat. Oh, look at her. Oh my god. I love you so much already. <gasps> Maybe I will take you and bring you with me on my travels. Do you want to travel through Turkey? Yes? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so cute. No way. Honestly, you can tell me there are better things to do in Antalya, but I will argue with you that this is the best of Antalya. This cute little cat. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I have to leave you. I love you so much. Maybe I will return, okay? Bye. All right, she's doing her business. We gotta leave her now. So many cute cats. Aw, hello. <gasps> oh, is she scared? No, no, you're okay, you're okay. Don't worry. It's just a bike. Oh my God. I love these cats. I swear. I think this is the best thing I can do all day. Just see more and more cats. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to leave you. I love you too. Bye, bye. We found another cat. Hello. Do you need some love? Yes? I can give you love. Okay, maybe not. This one is an independent. Miss Independence. We leave her alone. Look at this. In the park, we have a beautiful view of the beach. What? Honestly, I really do say, I think this should be the number one park in all of Turkey. I don't know. I haven't been to all the parks. I don't know the statistics or whatever, but just looking at everything, all the cats, the beauty, the nature, it's amazing. I have to give a big, big shout out. Honestly, if I don't do anything else today and... It's getting pretty late, so I might not go do all the touristic things. I do think that I ended this video on a very good note. The cats are probably the highlight of my whole trip. So you know what? Come to this come to this park. If you guys are ever in Turkey or in Taya, make sure to stop by this park, especially if you love cats just as much as me. Oh my god. So many kitties. So much love to be given. <gasps> I would like to say hi to you. You're so small. Hello. Hi. Aww. You like to love? Yes, I give you love. Here you go. <gasps> More cats. Cats everywhere. It's the best part of Turkey. The park here in Antalya. God, look at her. She's so small. Hello, baby. Yes, oh my god, I love you so much already. Yes, it's okay. 
It's okay, let me give you love. I just want to pet, I want to pet you. Is it okay? She's so scared. Okay, I leave you alone. Would you look at this, another beautiful view of the city in Antaya. Honestly, I would say this is probably one of the top views you can get here in Antaya. Because as you guys can see, right by the ocean, the mountains, and the beautiful park. Fantastic, amazing. And we have found another beautiful view here in Antaya. Wow, this is truly an incredible city. So much to see. We were all the way up there. And now we are here. And still a stunning, beautiful, amazing city. Our walk later and we have arrived at our first tourist destination here in Antaya. As you guys can see, we are in the Republic Square. There is a great statue right here. And then all the way, well not that far away, right there is a nice beautiful mosque. And there's another beautiful view of Antaya. But we must keep moving because it's already 7 and we need to find some cheap food here in Antaya. Just to give you guys a little bit more information on the minaret that's behind this tree. It is a 13th century minaret. And then we have another, I believe it might be a church, I'm not exactly sure or a graveyard actually, right here. And then we have another wall, which seems to be very ancient. There's another view of the wall, and you can just imagine, maybe long ago, it would have been a part of a great wall here in Antaya, or a castle, whatever you can imagine. And right here, we have arrived at the clock tower. It was constructed by the Byzantine Empire which is also referred to as the Eastern Roman Empire. And there's another beautiful mosque. I'm not exactly sure how old. But yes, if you didn't realize, we are now in one of the old cities here, or the old city of Antaya. As you can see by all of the ancient relics all around us. So this spot seems very popular, but what is the price? We don't know. But there is tons of different options all around. So we'll just take a look, see what the prices are, compare, and see if we can get some cheap food here in Antaya. Not much time left, so we're going to try to continue exploring the city. And after we visit all of the ancient relics, we will come back and try seeing if we can find any cheap food. But as I say that, we are staring at another, not sure if it is ancient, but it definitely looks like it is. It is not an ancient relic anymore, or it is uh, definitely turned into something else, but still looks very cool. And looky here, it's not an ancient relic, but pretty ancient, if you were to ask me. One of the old rail cars. And look at what we found here. This would be called Hadrian's Gate. I'm not sure if it would either be have been constructed by the Ottomans or the Byzantines, which was a lot or later than the, than the Ottomans. But either way, you can just see how magnificent it would have been. You can only imagine back in the day. And right now we see it and it is truly stunning. And look at that, some more campers, just like me. Now that we have visited all the ancient relics here in the old town, I'm sure there's many more, but enough for today. We search for some cheap food here in Antaya. Let's see what we can find. 60 lira for some Adana Durham. Adana kebab is 120. No, I think this is too expensive for our budget. We continue the search. Where do you think we will find a good spot for cheap food? Worst comes to worst, we, only have, we always have the sock. The sock will never let us down. But Oh, and we also have a Migros here, so we have tons of options if we can't find any restaurant. Yes, but I would like to try and find a restaurant here in uh, Antaya, just to help make another good video here in Antaya and promote the city and the beautiful food of Turkey. Found this little spot here on one of the side streets, and we are going to be getting the pilav Ustud Doner for 75 lira. Right here. Food has arrived. We got some rice, some chicken, 
some fries, tomatoes, we got some bread on the side, and a little bit of salad, which is just pickles and some other type of pickle. All right, I didn't eat all day. I'm going to enjoy this. Mashallah, that was a great meal for 75. And that leaves us a little bit of room for some more Migros shopping. Probably going to grab some beans and that will be it for the day. I was looking for some more Fasulia Pilaki, as you see here from the Burku. But they don't have it in the tat. So I think I might just change things up and we're going to maybe discover something new. Let's try the uh, Barbania Pilaki. Probably not saying that right, but we will try and we will tell you how it tastes. All right, so the day is done. We came to this little spot right here by the park, by the beach, just to enjoy our beans and our oranges. And that's going to be it for the day. I'm going to try finding a spot to sleep. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, please like, subscribe. Other than that, hope you have a wonderful night and see you guys in the next one. Peace.